Cancer, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I will go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you, and then you'll get notified all things cancer. And I do cancer readings every single week, and the added bonus is it's completely free to get notified. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, I will pull some oracle cards, and we will hop right into your tarot reading. Okay, so right off the bat, this 41 card, which breaks down to five, soulmates, popped out, <clears throat> building blocks, poised, and what you're not seeing is yang. There is action being taken. I feel like you've gotten that card a few times recently, Cancer. I feel like you're not seeing the benefit of the action that you are taking. Okay. Uh, I do feel like there is somebody coming in to help. I, I do feel like there is some, the start of something new. I wouldn't be surprised if this turned out to be like, there has been a lot of um, like taking action and like action oriented readings for you the last couple of times, but I'm really feeling like this is headed more towards love. Like the action that you've been taking maybe in your career or your personal life is finally bringing somebody in that's like your mate. We'll see what pops open. I will lay the tarot cards down and then I will go over them. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. King of Cups. <laughs> Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. And the overall energy is Ace of Pentacles. Oh, this is so good. So good. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm only seeing one major arcana, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And I'm going to clarify that right away. Because I feel like there was somebody in your past. Nine of Wands. And Three of Wands. Okay, so... This four of pentacles is really telling me like you took care of yourself. You did everything that you were supposed to do with taking care of yourself. And that's why this soulmate is coming in. There was a person from your past. And I feel like uh, the disappointment from this person was so big. This person really, um, they could have either A, took it, taken advantage of you. Or B, they were just so ridiculously childish that the connection with them was so negative and so draining that you were like, I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to put myself in that situation again. I'm never going to, um, I'm just not doing that. I'm going to take care of myself. The situations that I put myself in are going to be beneficial from now on. That's why you got this building blocks. It's like your expectations, like you no longer are going to, um, lower your expectations in any of these situations in any way, shape, or form. This person was very, this person was from the past. This is somebody that, you know, you might have had a relationship with this person and it was so toxic or so draining that you, you were single for a while because of it. It's like you, you can't, you refuse to get into any type of relationship if there were any type of red flags in any way, shape, or form. This wheel of fortune this nine of wands and three of wands. Um, it was only, it was like you paid the karmic debt, but not just paying the karmic debt. It was like you realized the cycle that you were in. And by not lowering your expectations, but actually raising them and expecting more out of people, that expecting you know, where you were alone for a while, where you took care of yourself. You manifested this situation coming in. You manifested this soulmate. And it's really funny because 
if you look at this king is staring right at the queen and between them is effective communication. So it's crazy. Like I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, you know, this is a love reading. Absolutely. Because not only did you get the soulmates, like there's something that has definitely changed externally in your life. And I feel like this four of pentacles, this taking care of yourself because of the situations that you've been in, you were like, oh, hell no, I'm not doing that anymore. And this king of pentacle or this this King of Cups comes in. I feel like it could have been somebody you have been talking to for a little while. It could have been somebody you've known for a little while. Whatever it was, this person comes in and they kind of like sweep you off your feet and is this too good to be true type of feeling. Um, I do want to state for some of you, it could be a false King of Cups. So make sure, like, it's okay to get swept off your, your feet, but still be conscious and aware of the red flags that happen. Like, they, if they do red flags, you know, like, nip it in the bud. Or talk about it. Make sure that this person is willing to talk. That whoever, the, this person is a talker. So if you are with somebody who doesn't really do a lot of talking, then um, that's not the one. That That's the step. You got to push that one to the side because the person that's coming in, this person is very much a talker, whether it's through text or through email or face to face or maybe over coffee. Like this person really want, likes meeting up and just talking like there doesn't have to be like any sexual interaction between you two. Although there is um, an attraction, it's just not like this person really likes being intellectually stimulated. Like, this person really likes being, like, connected with somebody emotionally, not just physically. Like there's, like, lots of different levels. Uh, this Ace of Pentacles, it's all about this new beginning. It's like you're not even seeing the actions that you were taking in either about yourself or in your job. We're really projecting you into this person's arms. Like, shoving you right in front of this person. And I feel like you could have met this person at, jo at your job or you start a new job, or you move, or you do something like that, and that's when this person kind of appears. Okay, I'm going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups. Um, it's only because of the painful ending that you went through that you were able to decipher and realize what it is that you wanted. It really sucked the situation that you were in that ended that just just was painful. It was just, you know, you know, you felt like you were stabbed in the back. You felt like this person took advantage of you. This, this knight of wands, this person was so destructive in your life that it like literally felt like this person killed you, killed your spirit, killed something inside you. And so it's like, that's why you had to take this time out and you really took care of yourself. And you were like, I absolutely 100% am not doing that ever again. You know, this person, um, this person pulled the rug out from underneath you. They could have cheated on you. They could have, you know, it was like things were going great and out of nowhere they filed for divorce type of thing. Like you had no idea what was going on. Okay, Cancer. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you, and then you'll get notified all things cancer. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out, and I'll see you over there.